Hey, today I want to look at perhaps a different type of book than you might normally expect. But, you know, I, I read a large spectrum of books, okay? I just don't read simply um, your straight-down-the-line Christian books, even though I do read that. But that's not the totality of, of what I read. If somebody were to ask me, you know, what's, what's an interesting book to read? Sometimes I might give them a Christian book, but other times I would, I would suggest something totally, totally different. And uh, as a, quote, non-Christian book that I would suggest most people should read, this is the first thing that I suggest for them to read because it's so rich, it's so good. And it was, it was written back in the early, the early 80s, and I'm not kidding, with the difference of a little bit of uptick on the language, a little bit of changing, modernizing the language, this book could have been written last week. It is that good, that timely, and I honestly, I don't ever see it going out of style. And it's Amusing Ourselves to Death, Public Discourse in the Age of Show Business by Neil Postman. I recommend anything that Neil Postman has ever written. He is an absolutely brilliant way of communicating that will absolutely knock your socks off, but at the same time, is so uh, he's so clear with how he communicates that you know high school kids can read it, college students can read it, and adults can read it and still be impacted in an amazing way. I've read this book probably four or five times because it is that good. And every time I read it, it knocks my socks off all over again. I understand something completely different. And it, honestly, it's not that long of a book. It clocks in at about, let me see, 163 pages. So it's not an extremely long book. You're not looking at a four or 500 page tome that you're going to have to read over the course of months and months. And this will suck you in. This will expose things about how you watch TV, how you watch movies, how you watch news. It'll change how you think, and it'll change how you see advertising. And as believers, we need to be very aware of how we take in the content that we do. A lot of us view content, even commercials, very passively. And we don't ask questions about why we're being shown what we're shown. And what is the motivation for this commercial, this ad, this particular news story, how it's being presented, the style of it. Everything is meant to lead you in a certain way. So I highly, highly recommend reading this. It goes from a highbrow news to talking about how Sesame Street is even constructed. I mean, it is, is an absolute wonderful book. If somebody asks what book outside of your uh, Christian books have influenced you the most... This is in my top three. I mean, it is fantastic. And that's one of my suggestions. And let me give you a two-for-one deal with this video. The other book is by Neil Postman as well. It's called How to Watch the TV News. And it's exactly what it says. How do, how do you interpret what you're being told? What is the news telling you? How do you know what you're being told, what you're not being told? And that sounds like kind of a tinfoil wearing hat, you know, very skeptical, you know, but it's, oh, I cannot recommend this enough. Very good. About the same size as uh, Amusing Ourselves to Death. Let me see real quick. This book comes in at 169 pages. Not a long read at all. Okay, so I highly recommend this book. Again, it was written in the 80s, but it could have been written yesterday with a little bit of uh, uh, updating on the language. So, Amusing Ourselves to Death, How to Watch TV News, fantastic books. You'll dig them. You'll love them. I absolutely adore these books. I have these both in Kindle format and in print format so I can get at them at any point in time. They're that good and they're that important to how I think, how I process things, and how I learn and grow. So take those two, read them, tell me what you think about them, and I'd love to hear about it. All right, this has been Cover to Cover today, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. See you later.